Cameroon is marking Boxing Day, the day after Christmas when gifts are traditionally given to the poor, with a nationwide gift drive for internally displaced children. Cameroon's government, churches and aid groups are working together to provide food, books, and school fees to tens of thousands of children displaced by the country's separatist conflict. More than 300 children displaced by Cameroon's separatist conflict gathered Monday at the Banjoon Community Hall in the capital Yaoundé to receive Boxing Day gifts. The day after Christmas is traditionally when people in Britain and Commonwealth countries like Cameroon give gifts to the poor. While many churches and aid groups on Boxing Day support IDP children with gifts, including one time by First Lady Chantal Bia, this year's was the first to be coordinated nationwide. 17-year-old Albert Undeep says the $50 he received from the city council will help him register to sit the 2023 general education exam. I am very happy for the food, school fees and dresses, clothing, that they have given to us, but I pray that the government should stop the fighting, the kill. Andeep in 2018 fled the English-speaking southwestern town of Menji after rebels torched their home and wounded his parents. He has since lived in a Roman Catholic orphanage in Yaoundé while his father, mother, and sister are still in Menji. Authorities say the Boxing Day gift drive aims to ease suffering for tens of thousands of children displaced by the separatist conflict, now in its fifth year. Fai Cassiandi, coordinator of the Cameroon Youth's Development Organization, said it's all about bringing smiles to children's faces. Children that have been displaced are living in very deplorable situations, Ndi said. We thought it necessary that we could seek assistance and donations from some of our elite and then we get to these children so that some that didn't have anything to eat at all, can have something to eat. When they were coming, you could see on their faces that they were not comfortable, but when they were leaving, we saw smiles on their faces. Cameroon's military says the separatists attacked more than 200 government schools between 2017 and 2019, forcing nearly all in the northwest and southwest are.